YouTube, hello. Just want to do a quick video of my new thing I built. It's uh, called an H copter, or it could be an I copter. I'll call it an I copter. I want to be special. Anyways, um, this is just a frame I came up with. Something really, I wanted something really easy to build. I mean, less than 20 minutes, literally from you know pieces of wood to this um, all you need is uh, zip ties pen rule um, tape and this uh, blade and this is all I use to cut this wood okay um, this is uh, basswood is what they call it um, I got it from Hobby Lobby the craft store not the RC store uh, they also sell it at um Michaels. Okay, this one is uh, 269 for this one piece right there. Okay, I had to cut that part off. And the arms are also basswood, and they're 249. Okay, so all in all, three cuts: one, two, three. You know, for both arms and then the middle. And all I had to use, like I said, was this knife. And this wood is very light and very durable, I would say, and stiff. See that? Barely any flex on it. Okay. Middle frame. Barely any flex on it. Now, I'm pushing on that, by the way. I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but for a quadcopter, I think that's fairly sturdy. So uh, yeah, 269 for the middle piece, that one, and 249 for the arms each. So that's like what, eight bucks something. And what I did is I just zip tied them on there with a uh, foam tape. Okay, uh, that'll absorb some of the vibration. Also, the wood already is a pretty good vibration dampener, a lot better than. Um, I would say a lot better than what's this thing called glass fiber or um, carbon fiber okay, just your regular foam double-sided foam tape that you get at Home Depot just squished it in there I put two pieces okay and then zip tied them down as you can tell I did some pilot holes right in there and I just fed the zip ties right through it and then around. Okay. Then those are gonna be the motors. I'm, I have to drill those out. Motor holes. You can't see it that great. Yeah, there you go. See. So yeah, eight dollars. Very light. Uh, let's weigh it. I think I weighed it already at 150 grams. For this whole thing, but let's try that again. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to get on there. Hey, look at that 153.7. That's the whole frame, that's pretty good considering I have this uh, HT FPV. I get pretty good flight time with this. Uh, I'm using 4000 milliamp. Uh, 3s battery and with all that setup on there the gopro with the case is i get about uh, 10 minutes give or take how windy it is outside and how how fast i'm flying and that frame just the frame by itself is 350 grams and this is uh, 150 so that's a big difference I don't know how that translates into flight time, how, how many more minutes I get, but like I said, I just wanted to try something out. I'm not going to be flying this for a while. Uh, I'm happy with my setup right now, that one. I'm using, I switch props to um, APC 9x6, and this is the electric, thin electric version, not the slow, slow fly one. So uh, it's a lot quieter. It seems like it flies a lot better, smoother than these ones. 
Okay, these are APC 9x47 slow fly and then this one is the electric one, 9x6. So yeah, like those, those are, those are really good props. They're not that expensive neither too. Anyways, back to the, what the video is about. So yeah, it, this thing literally took me about 20 minutes from cutting this and the two arms with a knife and zip tying them on there with the foam tip. And ta-da, look at that, I got an iQuad. Alright, thanks for watching. Just a little video if you thinking about making your own DIY quad. Um, I've seen it on YouTube that, you know, that they have to go through all this, you know, you get the tap, the top um, plywood part, then you get the bottom plywood, then you have a, uh, the piece of wood in between and all that crap. You get a, you know, three cuts and then literally have a quadcopter. I quad. Alright, thanks for watching.